Hi friends, welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word for the fourth Sunday of Advent, which is this Sunday, December 20th. We will be lighting the last uh, purple candle on the Advent wreath at church. Um, so that means that Christmas is so close. Okay, so let's start our Children's Liturgy of the Word with our song. start in the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I mentioned, it's going to be the fourth Sunday of Advent. If you have an Advent wreath at home, you may, this Sunday, you'll be lighting the last candle, and that candle is purple. And uh, so a lot of times during Christmas, we hear the same stories. Um, you might read the same books before bed. Um, you might be watching some of the same Christmas movies that you watch every year. And so often when a story is familiar to us, it loses some of its impact. When we read a book or watch a movie for the second time, it doesn't impress us the same way it did when the story is fresh and new and full of surprises. This may be true of today's gospel, which is so familiar that all too easily we can lose sight of the awesome and amazing story of God becoming human. Such an amazing event took place in an ordinary town with a simple young girl who had been uniquely blessed by God and chosen by him to be the mother of his son. Okay, so. Let's listen to this story and maybe it won't lose the surprise, okay? Let's think about it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. God sent the angel Gabriel to the town of Nazareth in Galilee with a message for a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph from the family of King David. The angel greeted Mary and said, You are truly blessed. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what they meant. Then the angel told Mary, Don't be afraid. God is pleased with you and you will have a son. His name will be Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God Most High. The Lord God will make him king as his ancestor David was. He will rule the people of Israel forever and his kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, How can this happen? I am not married. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come down to you and God's power will come over you. So your child will be called the Holy Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth is also going to have a son, even though she is old. No one thought she could ever have a baby, but in three months, she will have a son. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen as you have said. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Great. So this tells the story of when Mary first heard the good news that she was going to be the mother of the Son of God. And she learned this information from an angel. And the angel told her that God wanted her to be Jesus's mother. But before Mary could say yes or no, the angel described what Jesus would be like. Okay. And said that he was going to be great and be called the son of God most high and they were going to make him king. Now, that all sounds great, doesn't it? But Mary had a question. How can this happen? Because I'm not married. And the angels answer. Do you remember? Jesus will be born by the power of the Holy Spirit because nothing is impossible for God. Okay, so according to the angel, what other impossible thing had God already done? It was done to Mary's cousin Elizabeth. She was going to also have a son even though she was older. Okay. Do you, now, this wasn't in the story, but do you know who Elizabeth's son grew up to be? We talk about him often during Advent and pre, as he prepared the way for Jesus. You're right. St. John the Baptist was the son of Elizabeth. Okay, very good. Now, in the end, what did Mary say? She said, yes. She said, I am the Lord's servant. Okay. So she was willing to do whatever God asked of her. Okay. Mary proves an old saying, God will not be outdone in generosity. It means that no matter how much you try to give God, God will always give back even more in return. So Mary agreed to be God's servant, but in the end, she was made the queen of heaven and earth. Okay, so I know that you are very excited for Christmas. I'm very excited for Christmas. I uh, sat by my Christmas tree um, today because I am so excited. Okay, but as we approach Christmas, and I know we're excited for gifts and new things um, and uh, leaving treats out for Santa Claus, but let's remember what we're really celebrating, the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I wish you and all of your families a very Merry Christmas. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a seat at one of the Christmas masses, how awesome for you. Be safe. If you're going to be like me and celebrate at home with your family, don't forget to check the schedule so that you can view the Christmas masses um, via Facebook uh, for the parish. Okay. Have a blessed Christmas. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I look forward to seeing you at Children's Liturgy of the Word in the church, hopefully, in 2021.